गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी टुडे इज फिफ्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी द डे इज मंडे राइट नाउ आई एम विद कैम्ब्रिज क्लास द सब्जेक्ट वी आर स्टडिंग इज फिजिक्स फाइव जीरो फाइव फोर माई नेम इज फरहान मजर एंड टूडेज मेन टॉपिक इज वी इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टार्टेड स्टडिंग द इमेज लोकेशन by the ray diagram in the convex lens and we completed that all the diagrams of the convex lens were completed today we are going to look at the concave lens so we will see how the ray diagram works in the case of a concave lens in your syllabus physics 5054 for concave lens only one diagram is given and that diagram is enough wherever you will place the object um the image will be always the same i mean the image will be always the um, what you call it imaginary okay so let's see what happens for example now this time when we are working on this diagram we are supposing it's a concave lens and you know the concave lens is diverging lens it diverges the light rays so this is a concave or the diverging lens and this is the principal axis this is principal axis on both side of the lens i have marked focal length the principal focus on both the sides and also i have marked we have represented that with f and i have also marked uh 2f on both the sides so it's a concave lens suppose if you have an object For example, you can place the object anywhere, wherever you like. For example, if I place the object here, suppose I have placed the object here. This is beyond 2f, and I want to locate its image. For that purpose, as you have already learned, that we use two rays, and the first ray. starts from the head of the object and it moves parallel to the principal axis that's ray number 1 it starts from the head of the object and it moves parallel to the principal axis and because it's a diverging lens after passing through the lens it will be diverged and we have learned that if the words join this point and this f that's the main difference between the concave and the convex lens in the case of the concave lens you will join this point with f so i will join them and we join them in a dotted line and a line according to this line this ray will diverge so you understand when you look at from here this ray appears to be coming this from this f when you look at this ray number 1 from this right side of the lens this ray diverged and this ray appears to be coming from f This is the main difference between the convex lens and the concave lens. In the case of the convex lens, this would have gone through this half, but because it's a concave lens, so the ray number one has a little difference. You understand this? Okay. Now the second ray also starts from the head of the object. The second ray also starts from the head of the object. and it passes through the what happened this is sadhya said this also passes through the uh optical center and when it passes through the optical center it goes undeviated like this any light ray which passes through the optical center goes undeviated and when it goes undeviated through the optical center you can see that that dotted line and this ray number 2 intersected each other here 
where they intersected, they have intersected each other here. Here the image will be formed. So this is your, this will be my image. Look at this image carefully. This image is on the same side of the lens as that the object is. The arrow of the image is on the top and that is the object and the size of the image is smaller. So you see we can say that whenever you place an object in front of a concave lens, what happens? The image formed is virtual. The image formed is diminished. The image formed is erect. So these are the characteristics of the image formed in a concave lens. In the case of the concave lens, no matter where you place the object in front of the concave lens, no matter where you place it, the image will be always of this kind. Okay? That's the important thing about the concave lens. And the last thing uh, which I will like to tell you is about uh, three rays being used. We will use three rays. Suppose. Now, this is a famous question which comes again and again in the paper. But they ask you, let's say, suppose, it's a different thing now than the concave lens. He will say, use three rays, three rays to locate image. This is a famous phrase which is used in, uh, question, in your questions. He says, use three rays to locate image. Okay, now the, the whole thing is same, but this time, you know, uh, we use two rays only, but now we need to learn a third ray also. Okay, it's very simple. Suppose I place an object here, and suppose this is a, suppose this is a, this is my object. Okay, it's a convex lens. Suppose most of the questions in your syllabus will be on the convex lens. So here I have placed an object. And when you place an object, and we can use two rays to locate the image. Ray number one, ray number two, you have already learned about it. But let's learn about the third ray. In the case of the third ray, it always starts from the head of the object and it passes through the F which is on the same side. It starts from the head of the object and it passes through that F which is on the same side. You understand? Let me show you. I will draw it like that's that's it. Uh, this is that app which is on the same side. So this ray number three starts from here, passes through that, and touch the lens here. Okay? This is my ray number three. This is the famous ray in your uh, exam question they asked you to draw. It started from the head of the object, passed through the app which was on the same side. And then it touched the lens. When it touched the lens here, then it will become parallel to the principal axis. It will become parallel to the principal axis. After passing through, it will become parallel to the principal axis. So that's, this is the ray number three. The rest of the two rays are the same. What are those? It starts from ray number one. It starts from the head of the object 
and then pass it through the F on the other side because it's a convex lens. So it will pass from here. Okay? This is ray number one. The ray number two starts from the hand of the object, passes through the optical center, and it goes undeviated. Its direction do not change. So it goes like this. And to your wonder, they always they will be passing. This will be the image. They all, all the three rays, they will intersect each other. Thank you very much. God bless you all. And thank you.